With simple one word responses to the work. Anybody would like yeah, to instant response. Instant. instant response. They are stunned into silence by the work. It's a typical reaction in open heart surgery. Okay, yeah. yes, at the back there. Personal, okay, personal. Secret. Secret, secret. Anybody else in response to the 67 BPA? Deep. Deep. Emotive. Deep. Deep. Trapped. Trapped. What about once we were told an answer something? One word. <laughs> can, you, can, you put that, can you put that into one word? Awaiting. You, I think someone. Oh, well, someone was. Someone put their hand up here. No. Put it down here. No. One with me. With me. Okay. Erratic. Trapped. Erratic. Erratic. Okay. Anybody else? Few more. Few more. Few more, few more responses. Provoking. Pro provoking. Last chance. Last one. Searching. 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 Okay. Now, so to in order to kind of get some feedback, get some discussion going. We wondered if, if um, any of the audience had any questions they had, they thought about, they wanted to, they thought they might ask in response to seeing the work by Broken Rules. Any questions, anything you wanted to ask the artist when you're watching that work or upon reflection? Yes. Wait for the roving mic, wait for the roving mic. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> was that, was it based on one experience or was it, yeah, was it based on one experience? Okay, so you felt the work was based on an experience? No, I wonder, if, I wonder if it was based on an expression of one experience or, or a mood of, yeah. It's based on many experiences. Does that answer the question? Yeah. <laughs> Irrational or uh, rational? That's my question. What do you mean by that exactly? <laughs> Take from that what you will. Um, both. Um, I think a lot of I kind of see it in two halves, even though the second half is very, very small and very short. But I think the first half is irrational and the second half is finding the rational, if that makes sense. <laughs> Any other questions for our artist? I'm also going to ask you guys if you've got questions for the audience about your work as well. So have a think about that because the next one, next one is coming to you. Any other questions that raised bubbling away in your head? Etc. Etc. Anything you'd like to ask Gemma before I hand the mic over to her and open out? Yes, over in the corner there. Was it your part breaking? Was it your part in the box? Not quite. Um, it's emotions that are in the box, so not necessarily heart, but emotions. And was that you releasing your emotions in the drum? <laughs> that was the ultimate point of the emotions taking control. So what I'm going to ask, what I'm going to do now is ask, Je ask Gemma if you have any questions for the audience about your work, maybe what the, uh, how things were interpreted, how if you thought such and such an idea came across, or or any other questions that have come up as a response to this week, the work that you're doing that you'd like to get some feedback on, or possibly a little bit of an idea. It's a really specific one, but um, something that I've been working on and actually finding quite hard this week is working on changing the speed of different things. Because of course the, the heartbeat is constant and it doesn't speed up. It was something we wanted to play around with but weren't really able to in a week. Um, so we were trying to kind of, as working with Alessandra on me being the other heartbeat, if that makes sense. So me kind of um, trying to speed up or slow down at certain points. Um, but I'm just wondering if, if you feel that, that it needs more of those moments. Uh, more, more. more highs and lows. Dynamics. Yes, that's the word. Um, 
I just want to say I really liked your dedication to character. I thought it was really well portrayed. Um, Thank you. I do think you could make or take more advantage of the beat that's around because it does break slightly. I know you said it was consistent, but there was a break in the beat every now and again. Very true. And if you play in between that, I think you could probably manipulate the situation a bit better. So speed up and speed down and then hit the beat occasionally. I think that would probably work to your advantage. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Rhythmically, I was um, interested in when you did break out of rhythm, but I kind of wanted you to still work with that rhythm, maybe like in a clock face or something like that, so you double up, you know what okay. I mean? Okay. So you're still on rhythm, but we can see that, um, yeah, because I guess you're speeding up, but yeah. sometimes the transition between getting to that pace can be a little bit vague and a bit muddy. And I'm wondering if you could actually really stick to the beat and then double up on the beat. Because okay. I think then there'll be a definite shift of, whoa, okay, we've moved up a gear. Cool. Thank you. Any other, any other questions for our audience? Things you're thinking about? You're like, now's the time. Now is the time you've got, I don't know, 60 odd people there, minds, creative minds, cultured minds, yeah, hopefully. And. Uh, <laughs> You're here, okay? Uh, now's the time to use that to your advantage. So if you've got anything that you wanted to ask people about your work, now is the time to do it. I am really just interested in people's interpretations of it, because as I say, it's come from various different experiences that I've had, and I'm just wondering, and that my friends have had actually as well, so I'm just wondering what people got out of it, really. Yeah, what they got out of it, what they thought was going on, what they took from it, did it resonate with anybody? That's many questions in one, um, but anyway. <laughs> I'm wondering, because of the, because um, I'm struggling to find that thing, I'm wondering if, because there's many, I was wondering what connected all of those emotions, because um, that wasn't clear to me. Okay. And why, why are there many? Um, yeah, uh, did you choose to want to do many, or was there anything that hooked them all together? It, it, yeah, it's it's a it's the same feeling I've had throughout all of these experiences, and I find it really interesting that I interesting and also frustrating that I get myself into the same emotional situation. Um, so that's kind of what I was looking at with that. But that's that's really interesting to hear that. So thank you. So we're kind of touching, we're kind of touching on this subject already. But back out to the audience, last few, last few moments on Broken Roses piece. Um, we've already had some things people thought Gemma could do. Any thoughts about how Gemma might proceed with this work? Directions she could take it in, things she could explore, things she could do more, maybe less. I don't know. Any kind of these sorts of what Gemma might do next. Anybody else? Any other constructive feedback for Gemma? What you could do next in the next week, month, year with this piece, 67 BPM? Yes. Um, you said you were exploring different emotions. You could probably take more time over each of them. So the first thing I think was that you anticipating something, you waiting for something. So again, if you incorporated the beat and worked with that, and just, just, just you waiting, just exploring that, you'd probably be able to extend the piece a lot more. Okay. okay, great. Thank you very much, guys.